Good morning, my beautiful followers. How's everyone doing today? So all weekend, and actually a little bit into last week, this topic kept coming up. This topic kept coming up about relationships. And I had a weekend full of clients, um, both in person and online. And so this topic continued to come up over and over and over again. And so I figured, why not talk about it? Why not give it to you guys, give you guys some of these free little coaching nuggets. Uh, and so the topic that kept coming up was really disagreement or misunderstanding in relationship. And sometimes in a very like, I just don't understand them way. Sometimes in a very angry way. But this very, I, I very misunderstood perspective of the other person. Uh, I've had a couple couples or people uh, dating people for, for long periods of time over the weekend, um, some really kind of ingrained relationships. And it was interesting as I watched as uh, the partner I was working with would be like, I really just cannot understand my partner here. I cannot understand them. And I was like, are you really coming at them from their level? And when I say level, before we get into this talk, I want to say that level in this conversation does not mean really above or beyond. It means that maybe there's a different experience. Maybe there's a different foundation. And are you really coming at your partner, your lover, the person that you're saying, no, I really do, I do want to make this work? Or any other relationship, too, if you're single, like, you know, your family, your friends. So this is applicable to all relationships, but particularly applicable to our romantic relationships because this is where we really tend to dig into this. We really tend to dig into the, our heels here in romantic relationship. And so when we're little or when we have a child in our lives, it's known that we must kind of come down to each other's level. It's known that that when we have a child, we're going to have to go, okay, I'm going to have to tweak how I'm sharing this. Not in a, or I'm going to have to tweak how I'm sharing it because they're not going to be able to comprehend because of their level of experience, their foundation. If as somebody who works with individuals every single day, the first thing I do when I'm working with a client, or one of the first things I do, is to really ask myself in my head, where are they at? Where are they coming from? Where is their perspective? And, you know, in truth, am I asking them or is my sharing going to be beyond what they're capable of understanding, their experience level, their their heart level, their emotional level. Is it going to trigger them because of past stuff? Like where, where is their foundation? Where are they coming from? And oftentimes, as we get older, when we get into these romantic relationships, we forget to truly look at where the other person is coming from, where their perspective is truly coming from. Uh, months ago, um, for, for about, I think it was, was nine, ten months, I was dating this, this beautiful man and I, I really adored him. He was really sweet, beautiful, beautiful soul, beautiful soul. Um, but he was coming from a marriage relationship in terms of he had just gotten divorced. And I was coming from singlehood and not, uh, you know, having had relationships, but for a couple months prior, really being single, really living the single life. And when we would get into um, conversation, we would truly have to understand each other from different levels. He would have to understand my single perspective. I would have to understand his marriage for his entire adult life perspective. And so really coming together through that and understanding like, okay, there's different perspectives here and it's different life experiences. This is not to say one person is right and the other person is wrong or to, to look down upon the other person. It's understanding people from their point of view. It's really trying to, to get 
to a place of understanding that we all have different experiences. We all have different foundational points in our life. Um, so, so personal one, there is this, um, for about, about six or seven years ago, I lived someplace where when I would come home, my actual physical home and the environment in the home was a little bit like I was on edge. I was on edge. I would, I always had this fight or flight thing kind of having to be ready because of kind of the atmosphere in the home. Fast forward, you know, six, seven years, and some of those triggers are still with me. And so my partners have to understand, or they don't have to, it is really if somebody's wanting and willing and with you in love, they have to understand that this was a piece. And while I kind of let go of this piece of of my past, that there is still, that they can come to me in a space of, okay, I understand this is a trigger. And so here, let's, let's not necessarily not have confrontation, not talk about a difficult topic, but come at it from a perspective that we both can understand. Oftentimes, we don't really want to get down to another person's level because we think it's going down. And in truth, oftentimes, going going to a, a different level actually opens up pieces of our brain. It allows us to see a different perspective completely, allows us to grow. The fact is, when you have to go and explain something to a five-year-old, you're really having to think into it because you know that they're not going to understand exactly what you're saying because they're five, because their brains, their experiences are where they are at a five-year-old's level. So you're going to them, and guess what? In that breaking down process, what ends up happening is we oftentimes learn more about the topic ourselves or really have to dig into our emotions or dig into the nitty-gritty of it and figure out the problem from a very different different perspective. We have to to come at it from a very different perspective. This is why the saying, like, if you can't explain it to to a five-year-old, you don't know it, you don't really understand it yourself. Well, the same thing goes when we are dealing with romantic relationships, when we're dealing with adult relationships. The fact is, no, you're not always going to know all your partner's triggers and traumas, and that is what relationship is for. It's learning and expressing and explaining and, and knowing you know, intuiting, like, oh, wow, like I said that and you, your energy just went, Whoa. so what was that about? What was that about? Not losing that inquiry, not losing that, that level of love, because when we start to, to get out of our egos and go, okay, like I'm noticing something, not attacking, but this witness state, what ends up happening is we, we build in more compassion. We build in, we, pull our hearts into the relationship. And so what might be perceived as one thing, if we if we allow ourselves to get out of ourselves, and, and I'm not saying disconnect from your yourself, but allow our minds for a second to really become unself-centered because when we are just like focus on our perspective, that self-centeredness, that's not actually thinking about, okay, what, you know, what is this other perspective? What is this other foundation? What are these other triggers? What, 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 what? And, and really allow ourselves to go there. It's amazing the learning we can, we can have. It's amazing the expansion of our minds we can have. And in truth, this is how we keep relationships alive because no two people are going to have the exact same experiences, the exact same foundation. We all have different triggers. We all have different traumas. Um, and the fact is, if we don't make an effort to tr really, truly try to understand the other person in romantic relationship, it's going to fall apart. We're going to end up building resentments. We're going to end up not actually talking through things. And this is not just true in arguments. The fact is, I'm not just talking about arguments here. I was even, most of my conversation with my clients this weekend around this topic was actually about this like deep love and how one person was showing love and how the other person was showing love and you know how one, per, one per, 
person's perspective of sex and the other person's perspective of sex and relationship. It truly is just truly understanding and you know what? We're never going to fully understand another person. So if you are, if you want to understand every single piece and, and all the inner workings, especially of a woman, good luck to you. Um, you're never going to fully understand another person's perspective. But it is a respecting of that's your perspective. That's where you're coming from. And then also stepping outside ourselves to grow. And that's not to say if somebody is, you know, I get lots of lots of people who have had, and I'm going to kind of, baseball bat you guys all of it like people have had trauma and they're like and they constantly bring up the trauma and it's I think oftentimes it's like yes you can have trauma but then there's like what are you doing to work through it are you noticing it are you are you noticing your triggers are you noticing your trauma are you noticing the reactions and then are you actually working on on moving through it I think we get one of two two kind of perspectives on this. And one is that you should just move the fuck through it. Like, like stop dealing with that. Well, you know, some of those things are actually hardwired into our bodies and our brains uh, because of past events. So like if somebody comes at you, if you've had a childhood where there was lots of emotional abuse or physical abuse, or even sexual abuse, like you're gonna, you might end up shaking, like have this like shaky fight or flight situation. If you're somebody who has sexual trauma, if somebody you know touches you or looks at you in the in a certain way, that might be a trigger. However, are you working through it? Are you talking about it? Are you moving through it? Are you willing to see your triggers? And that's the key there. That is definitely the key there. It's not. This is not to say we need to understand other people's perspective and completely let them off the hook. That's that's not what we're we're talking about here. Let them off the hook of growth. Let them off the hook of growth. But what we're really talking about is truly just trying to understand other people's perceptions, perspectives, worlds a little bit and get outside of ourselves. Uh, and then see where people are growing and give them the time and the space to maybe grow or maybe process into uh, the expansion that is needed in the relationship. I get a lot of, a lot of couples particular, well, no, that's, I was going to say particularly men, but that's not the, the case here, really. Uh, going to backtrack because I, taking back that thought, taking back that thought. In truth, I get couples and they're like two sessions and they're like, why hasn't he made, made all these changes? I'm like, he's in process or she's in process. You know, oftentimes, uh, it takes our brains a while. We, we mess it up and then we get better and then we mess it up and then we get better. It does take some time to grow into new behaviors oftentimes. Sometimes we can change the behavior, but it is this this wiring that needs to happen in the neuro neurological pathways first and foremost. So anyway, my suggestion to you all is to think, where are you in your relationships, particularly your romantic relationships, but again, in any of your relationships, truly trying to put yourself in that other person's shoes, understand their perspective, understand their triggers, understand kind of where they're coming from, where is their baseline, and without going, oh, they're below me, because that is a that, that energy itself disconnects. When you go, that person is below me, that disconnects you like that. There are different levels of experience. So like if I was talking to one of my my married friends with kids, I would go, well, yeah, you you do. You have a different perspective on on children than I do because I don't have I I don't have children of my own. I've never been married. I've never officially been married. So yeah, you have a different perspective on this piece than I do. And so it is really, truly just understanding other people's worlds. Um, and that takes a very conscious person to really open up your mind and do that um, and think outside the box. But if you truly love somebody, if you truly want the relationship, then you're willing to do this. You're willing to do this. Both parties are willing to do this. And that's where the love comes in. That's where the heart. That's where, where some of the growth really does come in. So... On that note, I will let you guys go. Before I let you go, though, I have um, Live Big Sex Fully. It is coming out on 
April 11th, please. It is a one-day event. Do not wait to get on the list for this. You can find this on my website at addisonbell.net on the front page. Um, sign up. It is a one-day event, but you get the content for 30 days. This content will not be available for those who have not signed up after April 11th. So if you missed the sign up, sorry, you're going to have to wait wait for if I decide to do it again sometime. So get your butt in the door. It's a one-day event. It's going to be great. You're going to have 30 days of content, 30 days of access to me. It's going to be um, really fulfilling in how you live your life. And, re and I'm going to give you some, some hardcore principles to walk through. I have a six-point pledger plan, so please check that out. Again, addisonbell.net. Other than that, go have an amazing rest of your day, guys. Go grab that fire with and start this week off uh, with, with consciousness and love in your heart and then some passion and power. So, all right, guys, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed.